It is so funny to point out Disney hypocrisy, and frankly, I try to do it just about on a daily basis, but there's there are very few times when you get such an obvious you and perfect example of such hypocrisy fall in your lap that you just can't help but point it out. Okay, you might recognize her from the picture right there as the person that is currently suing Disney, and it's going to trial, kids, or at least the discovery, and it's going to be delicious in Gina Carano. Gina Carano used to be one of the big players, one of the big up-and-comers in the Star Wars, Disney Plus Universe, Mando, Mandoverse, something like that. She was going to have her own TV show, Rangers of the Republic. Okay, very popular in her own right in The Mandalorian in the form of Cara Dune. But then in the winter of 2020 with the, I guess that would have been 2021, right? I think it was 2021, regardless, okay. When a certain mandates for a certain experimental jab were coming around, she uh, took to social media. I think it was Instagram or something like that, but it really made the rounds on Twitter of her making comparisons that the government had a heavy hand in turning friends against one another, neighbors against one another, and that the current climate, okay, under current circumstances, it does bear an odd resembl or resemblance, don't you think? And she, for that simple observation, blacklisted in Hollywood. More than anybody associated with the McCarthy hearings of the 50s, McCarthy didn't go far enough. But it was always so funny to compare and contrast that, even at that time, with her posts, and ones from, oh, I don't know, Pedro Pascal. Pedro Pascal, who the lead on The Mandalorian. Well, sort of, he's the voice of the lead, and now they have a stunt guy walking around because Pedro's literally phoning in his performance, but he was making far more pointed criticisms using the same iconography of a certain middle European country during the 1940s, but instead of just simply making the observation that things at this point in time, ooh, they're getting a little bit hot, he was trying to demonize half the population. And what happened to him? absolutely nothing because he's the guy who goes this is the way and he carries around the little green guy and he's gonna be really great in the fantastic four trust me bro but here we have yet another example here we have just about a one-to-one -one because while pedro was far more pointed in his critique mark ruffalo mark ruffalo lovingly portrays the hulk probably the worst iteration at least in a filmic or the cinematic sense that we could have ever got, okay? I would take Lou Ferrigno's half-deaf ass over this bork in 2024. If you're unaware of his social media presence, you might be a bit surprised how overtly political he is. But in the light of the Supreme Court's decision in regards to Donald Trump's presidential immunity, that presidential acts cannot be prosecuted if they are done for official sense, okay? Like, long story short on this one is, okay, the president can do what he needs to do in regards to fulfill his position the same way. Oh, and so, oh, I'm sorry. And not be prosecuted for it the same way that if you, I don't know, send a soldier to war, you can't charge him with murder. It's like, kind of makes sense, right? 100%. But that was the ruling that they came up with, uh, I think, by the time that you guys see this video a couple weeks ago, I think. And I'm not entirely sure. But we'll be able to check, okay? Because we got Mark's tweet that is out here, okay? So that's that's the basis for this. But here we have, I don't know, some dem op that's out there, you know, shouting out the little mustache man about, oh, what ended up happening? And oh my God, yeah. And Mark should 1933, the Enabling Act became law in Germany, given the chief executive power to enforce his own laws without checks and balances. The passing of this act marked the formal transition from democratic republic to totalitarian dictatorship. Six months later, it was a one-party state. Well, that's interesting because that Supreme Court ruling also applies to all presidents, by the way. So wouldn't you think, okay, if you're going to be fear-mongering on that, um, wouldn't you think that would be happening right now? Especially with how much authoritarian power grabbing a current regime has been under. But hey, I don't know. I just read the news on a daily basis. But Mark Ruffalo very brilliantly uh, quote tweeted this. Uh, just for the record, history is repeating itself. And I thought, according to Disney, you can't make comparison to that sacred time in Germany? No, 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 that is that is off limits. Off limits so much as asking how many people can you theoretically run through an oven on a daily basis? No, 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 we don't ask any of those questions at all, and especially nothing about wooden doors. The former Mandalorian actress, Gina Carano, shredded the Walt Disney Company in response to posts from Mark Ruffalo comparing the United States to, yes, Germany in the 40s, or 30s in this case. Ruffalo appeared to react to the U.S. Supreme Court ruling, yes, 6-3, that former president 
presidents have some immunity from criminal prosecution for official acts during his tenure in office. He did not take the ruling well. Of course not, okay? Because it's orange man woke up and breathed today, therefore he's evil and literally the incarnation of the mustache man. Uh, posted on X, yeah, just for the record, history is repeating itself, not understanding how government works and that the Republicans are A, feckless, but B, not in control of the Senate or the presidency right now, okay? They have a slim margin in Congress, but depending on the issue, okay, the majority is non-existent. Grano re uh, responded to Ruffalo writing on X, double standards on full display. It Oh, it's a constant, obvious elephant in the room in Hollywood. There is example after example, such as Mark Ruffalo below, that prove this, whom, by the way, I believe should have the right to express himself without getting fired. Although I cringe at most of his political posts. He's an actor, but he is a human being passionately, engaging in something he feels strongly about. It must be nice to express yourself so freely. Well, yeah, of course, it must be nice to be on the right side of Hollywood history, because you can get away with, well, murder in the case of Alec Baldwin, at least for right now, okay? Doesn't he have his trial at the end of the month? But anyways, uh, she added, not everyone in this country has that privilege without having everything that they love taken from them. Do we wonder why he has the privilege and I do not? The answer are in my case. I mean, yeah, we're going to be able to see that when that does go to trial. Now that uh, discovery has been granted, it's going to be glorious. Oh, Carano continued. I know people would prefer basketball players to just dribble or actors to just act, but uh, when you're in a world where lives are being destroyed and lost all around you, how does any human being become a force to stay silent when death and injustice surrounds them? Fair enough, man. I don't mind anybody making these com er, the comments. And again, I don't mind Mark Ruffalo telling us exactly who he is, just some uneducated slob with the mental acumen of a leftist high schooler. Okay, cool. Go ahead and... Expose yourself for the world to see. That's cool. I'll know not to take you seriously. Then at the same time, Gina Carano's basic bitch takes on the jab mandates. She wants to go out there and say that and just have a bunch of trad cucks out there applauding her going, oh my God, we finally have one on our side. Go for it, man. I like Gina Carano. I've liked her for a long time. You no know, dating back to her MMA days. I didn't think any of her political commentary, you know, was biting and it was kind of cool. Just look over there and go, oh yeah, she's kind of based. That kind of makes sense because, you know, fighters in general, they kind of lean that direction. But yeah, cool. Fantastic. Still not watching your terrible Star Wars show, but good on ya. That's generally the way that I assess most celebrities' takes on things. They aren't necessarily deep. They aren't thoughtful. Therefore, outside of maybe if they have a good zinger, that's about all the attention I'm going to pay to them. And broadly speaking, and how most people see this stuff, especially in the churn of social media, where you could have a Mark Ruffalo or a Mark Hamill hot take, and yeah, it might be funny for the time being, but within 5, 10, 24 hours, it's gone like that. Okay, except for the cringe of Joe B. Wan Kenobi that's going to linger for a very long time. But yeah, if nobody, if Disney didn't make this big fuss about Gina Carano back in 2021, nobody would care, bro. Okay, the moment that... You know, did she appeared in Mandalorian season three, they would have went, I remember Cara Dune. Cara Dune's great. Anyways, back to her statement. Uh, Disney and Lucasfilm maliciously twisted the narrative of a meme I posted, which was encouraging neighbors not to demonize their neighbors or history could repeat itself. Yes, they twisted that meme into saying I was denigrating people off of their cultural and religious beliefs. I was suggested that I was comparing Republicans to dem boys in the unquestionable period of time six million no more no less shut your mouth shut down your calculators something that i never said nor posted exactly Toronto then declared yes blah 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 you know virtue signaling that's ultimately not going to do anything for you the media repeated uh, yeah, and repeated this lie until it became an untruthful fact yeah for many uh, who aren't at the best at doing their own research. Yeah, of course, we see this uh, time and time again. How many false accusations that even if they are debunked a wider scale continue to haunt people? The most obvious ones that I see out there right now is how many people are just dogpiling Dr. Disrespect. Like it's obvious for me to see because I look at the source documents, but everybody's going to their preconceived notions because they want to virtue signal on things. And that's realistically what leftists and Disney, well, why do I need to be redundant, did to Gina Carano back in the cut. It's what they do to the Tate brothers. It's what they did to Johnny Depp. 
How many more examples do you need? Trevor Bauer. You can run down the laundry list. It's all the same stuff. If you perceive, or rather, or are perceived as being an ideological opponent, there are not enough dirty tactics out there that they will go ahead and employ against you to see you in ruins. That's why most cowards just simply stay quiet. And because they stayed quiet, that's why we're in this position right now. I want everybody to say whatever the hell they want. Frankly, I don't care. As long as it doesn't hurt anybody, as long as it's not defamatory, go for it it man because not enough people are willing to stand up on their beliefs people have to go ahead and have these discussions in hushed tones but i'm not going to do that gina carano didn't do that and now she's going to be able to prove her point mark ruffalo you continue to go out there and make stupid stupid ill-informed illogical devoid of logic statements i need a good laugh on a daily basis so please think of think of think of the small people that are out there okay mark Disney, you continue to go out there and be as hypocritical as you possibly can be because I don't imagine Mark's going to face any repercussions for this and you're going to continue to try to go down with the ship because ultimately, in regards to your Corona lawsuit, if Mark ended up facing any repercussions, that wouldn't end up looking good for you in retrospect and that would end up being used against you in said lawsuit. So yeah, Mark will skate on this as he should, but maybe, maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe people should be calling for Mark's job, okay? Because we've seen the whole, you know, passive opinion of conservatives, right-leaning people, right-wing people, however the hell you want to characterize and categorize them. You've seen the laissez-faire approach of, I may disagree with you, but I will defend your right to say it. You see how they weaponize that. You see how they take advantage of your generosity. But no, tit for tat at this point in time. Mark, hopefully you'll lose your job for this. Hopefully Disney starts to play both sides of this fairly and honestly wouldn't hold my breath for it but no if he tweets in the next couple of days that he lost all of his opportunities at disney i won't shed a tear because that's just going to give him more time to spend and bitch on social media and like i said i like a good joke every once in a while and mark oh he's about the funniest of them so with all that said thank you all very much for the gift of your time i've been don consuelo I want you to follow your gut and get after it take care everyone